Hi, this is Stacy with Yellow Cottage Soapery, and I'm going to make a soap called that I'm going to call Leather and Lace. I made these in beds yesterday. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. Um, what I did was I just had like a eight by eight silicone mold. I had some lace, uh, like a vinyl table or paper placemat, and I cut it to fit the bottom of that pan. And then I just melted some melting pour and put it on there, and then peeled it off and just got some kind of like a little bit of a lacy design. They were pink, and I just dusted them with some sparkly white mica. And I'm going to put that on the top after I pipe. I've already mixed in my kaolin clay. I'll go ahead and mix my lye solution. My design is going to be mostly pink with a little bit of white and a little bit of black. too much black like I said mostly gonna be pink mm. might as well mix my white up real quick this is my titanium dioxide It's still really windy here. We got all that water and rain last night and yesterday. And we were very fortunate. We were not flooded out of our neighborhood. Um, our house sits up a little bit. I think that's why. But we got... <clears throat> we were very fortunate compared to many people in the state. I said there's something like 550 roadways and bridges closed um, around the state of South Carolina. So it's been really bad for a lot of people. And we're supposed to get three to five more inches of rain tonight. So school was canceled yesterday and today. Um, excuse me, today and tomorrow. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance. Smells so good. <clears throat> I got out my fall decorations today and decorated inside the house. And I have this little cat collar. And... I put it on my one of my cats and he loves it. It has little bells on it. It's got ghosts on it. And he has been running around ever since I put it on him. Like he had to run upstairs and show the girls. I think he's very proud of it. 
I'm going to use this pink also to pipe on the top. Bracing too. And all right, let's put a weight. Okay, it's just, I don't know what more will happen. Why would it do that? It must be the oxide. Okay, I might just use a little bit. And this is not good. Well, I was going to pull a hanger through this, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I can't believe it. When I was mixing that black, I'm thinking, man, this is really fluid. And within a matter of a minute, It completely like seized up on me. I don't even think I'm going to use any more of it. Here, I'll show you my kitty real quick. Jake! Jake! Hey! Hey, Jake! Look! Show your pretty collar! Jake! So funny. There he goes, jingling away. Okay. Now the pink is setting up really fast. disappointing. Darn it. I mean, this is still okay to pipe if I started piping, like, right away. Bummer. And the white is usually what thickens up, and, and it's okay. I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason to this design. Not at this point, you just want to get it in the mold.
guys, I'm back the next day to cut leather and lace, and you saw all the issues that I had with it, so I have no idea. I cut the first piece just to see, and this is what I got, which is fine. I'm completely okay with it because I really didn't expect on getting anything. I mean, I really thought that this was just going to be... A junk batch but it smells really good um, there's no amazing design or anything like that but I did not expect for that fragrance oil to do what it did it did not say that it does that um, and I'm was soaping at room temperature I literally stirred the black and I was thinking oh this is really fluid you know this is good and not even a minute later it was completely set up and what I did get out of it I didn't end up using most of the black I threw it away but what I did get out looked like Oreo crumbles and so I put a little bit of it in and this is what I got I don't know I'm going through a spell where I feel like my soaps are just not what I'm wanting them to be I'll go through a period of time where it seems like every batch comes out great, I'm happy, and then I seem to go through a period of time where I'm like, what? You know, I'm having issues with the titanium dioxide, um, I'm getting some glycerin rivers, which I never get. So of course I'm trying to figure out if there's any variables, what could be going on. And I really do not have anything any different except for a new bottle of Y, which I go through kind of quick, but I get them in two pound bottles. And it was in the same batch, it came in the same batch, but it was a different bottle. So the lye may be a variable. Um, and the, my titanium dioxide, as you know, I've been complaining about that. Um, I used to use oil-soluble water t or titanium dioxide. Then I switched to, um, I used to use oil, I switched to water, and used to put it in my shaker jug, and it's been working great. Then, all of a sudden, it's not mixing in with the water. It's almost has like a grainy look in the soap when I'm trying to mix it on top of really not turning it white and having to use more than normal and not even getting a true white so I'm like what the heck is this even titanium dioxide maybe it's a <laughs> bag wrong I don't know but last night with this batch I ended up using some oil soluble titanium dioxide, pre-mixed it, added it to the batch, and the white was perfectly fine. Um, it turned white for me. Let me see if I can... But as you can see, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, I have a little bit of glycerin rivers over here, just in the white. And I never get glycerin rivers, except for these last couple batches. So, I don't know what is going on. It's a little bit frustrating. But, I know as soon as I make a soap that I don't love, I really want to, I feel like, redeem myself and make a soap that really turns out great so that I don't lose confidence in myself, I guess. But, um, so I may make a batch later today. This fragrance oil I have not used before, but 
like the cool water that I made the other day that I had some issues with um, how the soap looked was cool water type. Now I've used that many times and it's been fine. So I'm going through what I call a soaping slump. These bars are nice and hard. Usually the next day they'll be softer, so for some reason these are nice or harder. And I don't know why that is. It's the same recipe. I've not opened any new oils or butters or anything. So I guess I'm trying to figure out what's what's going on. But I'm thankful that this whole batch didn't go belly up on me. I would have been really bummed. It's not a gorgeous design or anything, but... And... Oh, there's the last bar. Okay, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video.